Scholars say one of the important concepts to understand is something called tasawwuf, or Islamic spirituality. I asked Irfan al-Alawi to explain what that means. He's the executive director of the Islamic Heritage Research Foundation. Well, the sum of uh, Islamic spirituality is part of Islam, and the Prophet Muhammad taught us about that we have to have a spiritual link with the uh, Islamic heritage, and sports, especially, of course, with God himself. Islamic heritage plays a major role in that, where the Sunni and the Shiite Muslims visit the holy sites where the Prophet Muhammad or the holy saints, Sufi saints, have been uh, be buried in Syria, in Iraq, in Mecca and Medina, to have an uplifting of their spirit, to be more inclined towards God, and that's the center point of Kaaba. That's where Islam be began from, and that's where it ends. Some of these historical sites that have been destroyed, some might argue they have to do more with ancient cultures and tradition and less about religion. That's absolutely rubbish. And those who visit the shrines, uh, they consider them to be mushriks or idol worshippers. The Prophet Muhammad has mentioned in many of his sayings that it is permissible to visit these graves and holy places, Abrahamic pl uh, places, and of course we are monotheist religions. A visit of the holy sites to ask an intermediary between the person who is resting there and God. And this means, of course, it could be a site where the Prophet has prayed, or obviously even the cave of Mary in Jerusalem, which is permissible to visit. Uh, some of these UNESCO World Heritage sites in Syria and Iraq, um, you know, including Palmyra, um, some say it, you know, what they've done amounts to war crimes. Do you agree with that? And what can the world, what can the international community do, do to protect these ancient sites? Well, of course, it's a tragedy what's happened in Palmyra, and I think that uh, it should stop. It is seriously a war crime, and those who have uh, caused these tragedies will t should be taken to the courts. But I can give you an example here. The pyramids have dated back thousands of years. The Prophet Muhammad never said that they should be demolished because they're pharaonic, and there were time at the time of Moses. But the Prophet did say that we learn from the past of our history, and this is why it was never ordered by the successors of the Prophet to go and demolish them. Muslims still visit the pharaonic pyramid, so why does the ISIS continue to demolish not only Muslim heritage sites, but Judaism as well as Christian sites? This is not acceptable to Islam or any other religion in the world. And of course, the Taliban did something similar in 2001 by blowing up the Bamiyan uh, Buddhas uh, more than 10 years ago. All right, so Irfan, let me ask you, you know these areas well. What do you think is most at risk? What could be the next target for ISIL? Well, of course, the, the Umayyad Mosque, which is the main mosque in, in Damascus, which could be the next target of ISIL because it contains the tomb of Zakaria, alayhi salam, the prophet. And this could be that they will demolish and bulldoze this. Uh, according to the Muslims, the Muslims believe that the Mus uh, that Jesus will, of course, come back to this particular mosque. Now, at the same time, I must emphasize that ISIS has also threatened that they want to demolish many of the prominent shrines, Sufi shrines, in Iraq. One is Abdul Qadir Gailani, Abu Hanifa, and Musa al-Qazim, as well as the Prophet's son-in-law, Ali. This is very, very dangerous, I think, and it's dangerous territory. But the Sunni Muslims and the Shia Muslims have to unite to combat ISIS. All right, Irfan al-Alawi, thank you so much for your time.